off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hey friends, I'm trying to set this up without having it fall Um, I just am starting my day at one with you <laughs> I have worked out I've gotten probably about 11,000 steps in already for the day did walk inside on my treadmill walk outside um, to clear my head and talk to Jason on the phone and then I went home and showered and did my hair and my makeup because tonight is Kaylee's first graduation celebration it is not actual graduation it's just at the high school where we can go and um, celebrate the kids and be able to take pictures of them <laughs> it's the biggest thing so that is what we have on deck for tonight that's why I wanted to do my hair and have myself done with my workout earlier in the day versus like worrying about it this afternoon but I did just want to mention a few things here and I'll probably reiterate them in future videos regarding my surgery that is upcoming I'm just gonna make a few points that a few clarifications I've kind of gotten um, I felt attacked but maybe it wasn't um, an attack um, maybe I'm just taking it too personally but also there is some mis misunderstandings um, from comments that I have gotten um, specifically today on multiple different videos on the topic of my sur surgery for the most part I am choosing to do this surgery now because this is when I want to do it I brought the conversation to you guys suddenly like I just kind of dumped it in your lap and said hey ta-da I guess what I'm gonna do this and then ta-da I guess what I scheduled it um, days later for you guys you got the information just kind of out of the blue and suddenly and it seemed a little spontaneous this is a 20 year decision for me I have wanted to fix these for 20 years when I got married I didn't mind them but I had kids started having kids two years later and they went downhill from there literally no pun intended downhill from there so this has been a, a thought process for 20 years it's also been a thought process if I ever got breast cancer they would be gone we would pay to have the second one removed if insurance only took one away from having cancer in one side that has been a topic of conversation for Jason and I since we were dating this has been a topic of conversation for a very long time I've wanted to have this surgery for a very long time it did not come into play until this year we've had a lot of success with our business it has been 21 years that we've had a lot of success with our business and jobs and hard work yes my husband works but I support him and I take care of our kids and I have my own job this is my job I do do this channel and I also volunteer and get paid for other jobs outside of the home and it has been hard work and so that's why suddenly this year it has been a conversation for us to go ahead and let me choose to do this which is the second point this is my decision Jason and I discussed it I asked him hey this one is my decision do you support me on this and he says yes I support you on that because it is your body your choice get where we're going here with this I did not need his approval he has always known that I've wanted to do this I did not need his approval I also technically don't need his money like I said I earn my money here on my YouTube channel I earn money by volunteering with an organization that pays me for my time I also have other ways that I earn money and because of that I have decided to take my money that I earn when I normally spend that money on Hawaii and put them toward this surgery um, I will be able to save later in the year for a trip to Hawaii or Japan I will have that opportunity in the meantime this is what I'm choosing to spend my money on and that's okay that's our choice we have other finances other things other commitments in the near future and far future that we will manage because when we make commitments for financial decisions we don't make them mildly we don't go into debt for those financial decisions if you know what I mean we have upcoming trips both for my husband and for us as a family as a vacation in budget 
for our family. It's fine. We won't go into debt. It'll be fine. Third topic um, of concern is that I am choosing this surgery over my daughter having her surgery. I think you've missed. I think some people are missing the point and not watching past videos. And if you're coming to this conversation and you haven't watched past videos and know about the certain situation with our daughter, Abby, in her upcoming surgery fiasco, <laughs> I am not choosing this surgery over my daughter. Her surgery is on hold. It's on hold because her body's not ready. That is per her two doctors, her surgeon and her orthodontist. Um, they have put the surgery on hold. We have not financially put it on hold. We have insurance that is covering the cost of her surgery. That is not the reason we are delaying her surgery. I'm not choosing this over her. We have to wait until her body is ready for this life changing and necessary surgery. This is not something we're taking lightly. We aren't choosing myself over my child. That being said, it is okay for a mom and a woman to make choices for herself at a point in her life where she has chosen her children over herself over and over and over again. It is okay to choose you. It is okay to feel like you want to look good and you want to have your body parts in the right place. I might just make this this video because this doesn't belong in my daughter's graduation day video. It just doesn't, it doesn't have a place except that I needed to clarify with you guys. And I know so many of you are supporting this decision of mine to have this surgery and I am not talking to you <laughs> If you know in your heart that you're supporting me and doing this and you've either done it in the past yourself in, in other forms of surgeries for yourself or you want to do it in the future and you wanted to have the courage to be able to say yes to yourself, fantastic. I, I fully support your past and your future 100%. I'm not talking to you guys. I've just got some negative naysayers are going to happen when you share and you're you're vulnerable online, but don't attack, attack my children. Don't tell me that I'm not choosing my child, that I'm choosing myself over my child. That's not the case. Don't tell me that I need to ask for my husband's permission to alter my body. Mm -mm. It's not how we work it in our house. And I'm glad that that conversation came up today when I picked my daughter up from school and she saw how mad I was. And she said, mom, no one can tell us what we can do with our own bodies, correct? And I said, no, that's not how we run it. I am not raising my four girls to have someone else tell them what they can do with their bodies, surgery or no surgery. I think I've made all of my points that I've been kind of, you know, frustrated with. This is a big financial decision. It is a big physical decision. I have not taken this decision lightly. I know that I have more weight to lose. I understand that and I understand my doctor even has, con not concerns, he wants to support me in my weight loss journey. He wants to be my motivator and right now he actually is being my motivator, more so than my, do my endocrinologist is being. He's giving me a lot of encouragement and by the way, I am two ounces. I am back to two ounces from my new low. I am three ounces away from a new low. Three ounces. That's a trip to the bathroom, folks. <laughs> I am working hard. I am working hard. I do not show you. This is to another comment um, that I've been getting from someone, and multiple people actually. I don't show you everything I eat in a day. I don't do those videos. I share with you things that I am eating that are healthy, and I also show you my bad choices. Last night I alluded to a treat that I wanted to end my evening. It was chocolate chip cookies and I had three of them. I'm, I'm allowed as a human being to make that choice. Is it the correct one for me right now? Is that possibly gonna make me lose weight? Possibly, but today I have a new low on the scale and I got to enjoy three cookies and I'm happy. And that's all that matters. I am not going to go on a diet. I'm not going to eliminate everything out of my diet that make me, makes me happy. I, I'm not gonna do it because this is a lifestyle change that I have to make and doing that won't make it consistent in the future. I want to make changes. I want to do good for my body and I wanna be an example to my kids, but I'm not perfect. And I don't make good choices every day. 
but I do make good choices every day. I do both. And for women, that's okay. It's okay to mess up. It's okay to make good choices. It's okay to not do the perfect diet that everyone else is doing. It's fine. It's all fine because I'm happy and I'm working hard for what I need to do. And I'm not sharing all of that with you. I talk about protein creamies because that's a snack option for me that curbs my appetite for chips, dips, chocolate, sodas after 7 p.m. So I share that because it's an option for me. It's an option to curb my other cravings. Is that the only protein that I eat during the day? No, it's not. It's just the one thing that I'm talking about. You guys get like a, well, so far it's a 12 minute. You, you've got 12 minutes and I'm probably gonna edit that down to about 10. You're getting 10 minutes of my day. It's 1.30. I haven't shared a lot of stuff that I've done with you today and I don't have to. I don't have to tell you what I eat. I don't have to tell you how many calories it was. And I know a lot of you don't expect that, but some of them, some of you want that from other people. And maybe that's a guilty conscience of yours. I don't know, but I don't owe you with any of that. I, I just don't. This is my journey. I'm on this and I'm sharing it with you guys because 99% of you are supporting me on this. And that's why I'm sharing this with you to thank you because it's given me new strength to go through this and to share it. <clears throat> I have friends here in my own life that didn't know that I was going to do this. Not, they didn't know I was going to have the surgery. One of them came up to me last week and she said, I'm so proud of you. And I don't know that I would have had the courage to tell her in person that I was going to do this, but she watched my video. She gave me a huge hug when she found out and when she saw me and she said, thank you for being vulnerable and for sharing that with us because that's not an easy thing to do. And if I can help make someone else brave, whether I know them personally here at home or it's one of you and you're contemplating having this surgery or you have other things that you want to do for yourself, do it. That's what the whole point of what I'm trying to do is to give people, specifically women, the encouragement to be okay with yourself. I think we've lived in societies where we where men get to dictate what we do and society gets to dictate what we do as women. And I don't, I don't, I'm not having that. It's not going to happen. Part of why I love Jason so much, because it was very obvious, blaring obvious when we first started made, dating <laughs> that he wasn't that person, that he wanted me to be my own person. He wanted me to be independent and not dependent on him. He didn't want me to make life choices based on where he was going to be for school or where he was going to be living or where he was going to get a job after college. He wanted me to make my choices based on what I wanted to do and that's why I love him. He was raised by good parents, namely a good mom. <laughs> I wish he was here to this day to see her girls, her granddaughters, being raised by him and being allowed to choose things for themselves, to be independent thinkers. He allows me to be me. And that's what I'm being with you guys. I'm being real and being vulnerable and that's okay. Maybe if you don't like that, maybe if that's too vulnerable for you, that's okay if you step away and don't watch. Um, but that's what I'm sharing. That's who I am. I know so many of you support that and I really, really appreciate that. I want you guys all to know that. And maybe it's a sensitive topic for even those that are supporting it and, and that's a concern for you in your own life. Be brave, stand up to that it's okay. I'm going to leave that with you. I'm going to end this and we'll pick up for Kaylee's graduation in a different video because it's not really fair for me to bring this conversation on the same celebration of her journey. Stay tuned for that. Thank you for being here for me. Thank you for supporting me in this. Ironic thing is that even those naysayers and the people who aren't supporting my choice in this, you're paying for it watching this you're paying for my surgery so you know I mean that there's that you're helping me do this so thank you <laughs> take care you guys and be brave be strong um, know who you are and stand up for it and thank you for allowing me to do so take care easy, easy on our tiptoes